Today I'll be reviewing a 2023 Genesis Electrify G80. Yes, the name is actually called Electrify G80. And this is the very first pure EV sedan from Genesis created to compete with the Tesla Model S and the brand new Lucid. However, is it up to the task though? Because this platform is not exclusive. It's shared with a gas powered G80 and this electrified G80. And unfortunately, Genesis had to sacrifice a few things in order to stuff the battery, the electric motors, the components inside this platform. So how good is this electrified G80 and can it really compete with the big boys in this sector? Let's find out. All right, I'm behind the wheel. Let me tell you more about this brand new electrified G80 and talk about how it drives. The first thing I want to talk about is the exterior. So the outside of this electrified G80 looks basically identical to a regular G80 with a few little differences. And unless the cars were side by side, you would not notice them. Let's start out with the front end. You still have that giant grill, but this one's a little bit different because this is an EV G80 and you don't need all that airflow going into the engine compartment. So they blocked it off and it's just one giant panel that's covering up the grill. It still looks like the normal grill, but a little bit different. And what Genesis did was actually hide the charger uh, right within the grill. It's cleverly hidden, so there's a little G that you have to press down and then the door opens. So it's a unique place to charge. What, one thing that's disappointing though is that door is not motorized. The lower bumper also is different, but again, unless you have the two cars side by side, you're not gonna notice the difference. Now you move to the rest of the car, like the side view, right? It has a nice silhouette. It's a big, large sedan. And outside of the fact that the wheels are a little bit different, exclusive for this electrified G80, it looks the same. You don't see any special badges. You don't see charging ports on the side. It just looks like a normal sedan. Now moving to the back, it's the same thing. It's a clean look. The only thing you see is that Genesis badge and the G80 badge and that's it. There's no other kind of badge that indicates this is a, an EV car. And the only thing that's different is the bottom bumper because you don't need exhaust tips. You don't need exhaust. So they changed the lower bumper, but that's it. But I, I like the outside. Genesis has this really unique look, very different from the Japanese manufacturers and very different from the German. Now let's get to the good stuff. You're probably thinking, okay, tell me about the range, the power, the charging time, right? These are the things I wanna know with the EV car. Okay, so Genesis rates this electrified G80 with range of 282 miles, which is about right. It's more than, let's say, some of the EV SUVs out there, uh, but it's not range topping either. It doesn't beat the, the Model S or the Lucid. So it's, it's good, but not the best. As for the power, you're getting 365 horsepower and around 516 pound-feet of torque. So horsepower is actually a little bit less than the gas power G80, but the torque is way more. And because of it, because of the instant torque, this electrified G80 does zero to 60 a lot faster, around four seconds. And quarter mile, in case you wanna know, is under 13 seconds. So this car is definitely not slow by any means. Pretty fast car. Now, as for charging, what Genesis states is this. You could charge up to 80% of your battery life in about 22 minutes, and that's pretty standard. But the good thing is, inside the menu, the Genesis Electrified G80 will tell you exactly how long it's gonna to take to get to full range. So it takes the guessing work out of it. Right now, while I'm driving on local roads, this Electrified G80 is providing a beautiful drive. It is very quiet, very, very quiet. It's kind of like silent from the outside and it's just really nice. This Electrified G80 actually has adaptive dampers and also it has a camera road ahead of you. So it will adjust the suspension uh, to make it smoother. And plus with these special wheels and tires, which are meant to, to really improve range, 
overall drive is very comfortable, very quiet. Now, as for features, you pretty much get everything as expected. Genesis tends to overpromise, and you definitely pretty much get everything that you could think of. First, let's start out with this giant 14.5 inch infotainment screen. Really, really nice. It's really wide. It's not vertical, it's horizontal, but it works. It's touch screen and it's not too far back. So for the most part, you can still reach it. There's a lot of menu items. It's very bright, very responsive, no lag whatsoever. The resolution is very high, but if you didn't want to use touch, there is a rotary dial that you can use to kind of navigate and it works. It's just, it's really nice. And there's a lot of things to choose from, obviously. All these kind of settings, uh, EV stuff, but uh, how to control your lights, your seats, and you know, <laughs> everything to think of. You can, of course, wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto included. Not only that, you do get a digital gauge cluster, which is pretty standard these days, except the one in the Genesis has a 3D layering to it. It's hard to capture on camera, but take my word for it, both sides, the speedometer and the other side, which is measuring power and charging and the middle, right? There's like three or four layers to it. It's a really unique look and it's, it's quite nice. And of course you can scroll through a variety of menu items. And if you want more screens, yes, <laughs> there's another screen for your climate control, very self-explanatory, but you get the essentials, heated seats, ventilated seats, heated steering wheel, and you get a heads up display too. So you get a lot of screens, a lot of visualness inside this electrified G80. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, like most EV cars, you get that instant torque with this Electrified G80, it starts out, it kicks you back real quick and then it kind of slows down. But as for that four seconds, zero to 60, that's about right. But you know, for the most part, almost none of you guys will be <laughs> drag racing this car. Um, passing, anytime you put your foot down, you know, it's like, it's like instant. As for other features I missed out on, um, standard ones like your blind spots, Either turn signal left or right, you'll see a blind spot in the digital gauge cluster. So that's pretty standard. You see a lot of that heated and folder folding mirrors, um, you know, memory seats, stuff like that. Uh, you know, your front seats can be adjusted a hundred different ways. You know, those are pretty standard. Also inside here, of course, you get beautiful leather, quilted leather with different kind of piping color. It's really nice, but also Genesis says, the leather inside this car is made from dead animals. So no animals were actually killed for their leather. So that's something that Genesis is advertising and I don't hear anyone else talking about that. The seats up front, also very nice, very supportive, not too aggressive. The bottom cushion is nice, holding me in without cutting into my thighs. The back support too, overall. The front seats, very comfortable. The steering is also superb inside this electrified G80. The steering wheel, first of all, has a unique look, eh, old school vintage look, two spoke design, but it feels good. And the steering itself is light, but precise. It's not sloppy at all. So I, I like it. Now there are also paddle shifters. Well, they're not to control your gears control the regenerative braking, which is a little flaky with this car. Even if you go to level zero, which you think is off, it's really not. And you still kind of feel that regenerative braking when you let go to throttle. So unfortunately you get that feeling unless you turn off the system completely, which you can by holding the right paddle shifter for like a second or so. If you do that, then you could turn it off completely. Now, as for normal braking, it feels normal. It doesn't feel any different than, than a normal car, which is good, but just keep in mind the regenerative braking takes time to get used to. Now, so far I've said nothing but good things about this electrified G80, but at the beginning of the video, I did say Genesis had to make some sacrifices. And unfortunately, 
this could be a deal breaker for some of you guys. The size of this G80 has decreased by quite a lot because of this platform. Genesis had to stuff in the battery underneath, the motors, and more electrical components. And because of it, you actually lose quite a lot of space on the inside. In terms of headroom, which isn't all that bad, but you do lose almost an inch up front and one and a half inch in the back. So if you're on the taller side, well, you're going to feel it. And in the trunk, you see there's that hump in the back. You lose two cubic feet of cargo room as well. So unfortunately, the electrified G80 is smaller than a normal gas powered G80. And for some of you guys, you'll be turned off by that. Now, there's something else that was sacrificed too. If you look on top, there is no sunroof. There's supposed to be a solar power panoramic sunroof on top. And I hear in other markets outside the US, you'll get it. But inside the US, you don't get it. Because by adding the sunroof, it decreases the headroom even more inside. So unfortunately, you can't add that in. Now, besides the headroom that's lost in the second row, passengers also lose about two inches of legroom. But overall, still isn't that bad. I'm five feet 10, and behind my driving position, you can see I still have about two to three inches of legroom, two to three inches about headroom, right? But would have had more if this was not electrified. Passengers in the rear also get a nice climate control screen and sunshades on either side. So to conclude, do I like the new electrified G80 and how does it compare to the big boys? Well, I'll tell you from experience because I did own a Tesla Model S before. As for the inside, I'll say that the fit and finish and quality is light years ahead of a Tesla Model S, even a new one, even a plaid. But as for size, I will say a Model S does feel much bigger, even though with dimensions, if you look at the outside, they're very similar. But inside, the Model S does feel bigger. I think mostly because of the subtractions inside this electrified one. And if you sit inside a Lucid, Lucid feels like limo-like. Um, so there's no comparison to the size inside a Lucid. But uh, overall, this is still a mid-size sedan. So it's not too small for four people, for families, it's still okay. So as for the price, this electrified G80 is at $80,000. That's it. There's no trim levels, no packages to add on, no accessories, $80,000. So when you look at that and you compare that to a Model S or a Lucid, well, it comes in thousands less or tens of thousands less, right? So you're definitely saving a lot of money. So even though this does have a little bit less range and is not quite as quick as some of those other guys and maybe a little bit smaller, you're saving a lot of money. And plus, the fit and finish, the interior quality, all the features, the drive are, are fantastic. So it's really up to you what you treasure more. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Smash the likes and subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for my future review videos. Take care. Bye-bye.